Alright guys, I could barely finish this show because I'm so damn tired right now. This might be the tiredest I've ever been in my life. So this is the last review for today, alright? Okay. So, guys, I'm here to review SummerSlam 2010. To continue my SummerSlam series, of course. Alright, um, let's just get into it. First match, we got Dolph Ziggler versus Kofi Kingston for the uh, Intercontinental Championship. Not as good as you'd expect. This match was all about the Nexus coming out afterwards, guys. I'm not joking. These guys, they, they barely did anything while they had the, their match. and Just to have uh, Nexus come out and cut a promo and shit like that. And then we got the next match for the WWE Diva Championship, at least the Fox defending with Melina. Uh, this was actually getting alright. And uh, we had uh, Melina, I think her knee was injured or something. And the crowd got crazy because Melina actually won the match. Yep, she wins the Divas Championship. Melina's last SummerSlam, unfortunately. Might have been our only something. Shit. Alright. Then we got the next match. Um, handicap match. Big Show versus the Stratus Society. This match. I don't know why they even did this match. It's just Big Show. Most of the time it was Big Show beating them up. Squashing them like books. Then at the end, CM Punk abandoned his team. And uh, Big Show squashed. Joseph Mercury and Luke Gallows. He wins. Good for him. And next up we got what I think is actually an okay match for the WWE Championship. Sheamus defending against Randy Orton. This match was very enjoyable in my opinion. Uh, I think it lost it. I think it went on way too long though. But it was still a good match. I mean, you, it was it was quite back and forth. And you had um, Sheamus getting himself disqualified so that he would keep the title. You know, it was whatever. Alright. Then we got the match for the Waterwood Championship. Kane versus Ray Mysterio. This match was decent. I was actually a bit disappointed in this match. And uh, the only thing I hated about this match. Uh, actually, I, I got my witch mod up there, so. <sighs> we got uh, some good counters. And of course, came one, and we, then we saw The Undertaker return. Right. Now we got the main event 7 on 7 limited tag match. The, the thing that. That, that the show was all about they didn't care about anything else and this is the only match worth watching on the show guys it really is it really is Team WWE uh, John Cena, Daniel Bryan who was the surprise guest, Edge, Chris Jericho, Brett Hardy, John Morrison versus the Nexus this match was fantastic it lasted over half an hour but it, they just kept it going these wrestlers just showcased all of their abilities here. They didn't put anything to waste. And it was just awesome. Maybe a bit predictable having uh, John Cena and Wade Barrett um, like at the end. Like at the very end. But this was still a phenomenal tag match. Just awesome, awesome stuff. Very uh, immense, immensely enjoyable stuff. Just great great fantastic match and it, it's just awesome so that was that match okay guys I'm, I'm sorry but yeah that that's the review okay so sorry guys I, I'm tired as hell right now I just want to get this video over and done with I, I tried to do it as as good as I could despite how fucking tired I am man yeah I did 
Well, I'm assuming. Like, comment, subscribe if you're not. Peace.